no joke, I was really paralyzed by the fears I had inside to the point where grocery shopping was a big ordeal for me. Forget group crowds, small social interactions. I would have palpitations. I was having panic attacks. The anxiety was pretty severe. As a result of that, I really didn't do much with my life. And because of that, I was severely depressed. <laughs> I got started with brain education by being dragged to a yoga class. The extent of my anxiety was so big. The thought of standing in front of a group of people and the opportunity to do something wrong was, was really a nightmare to me. So um, I had a, a good friend convince me to go to this class and I met who I you know, still call my yoga mom. And uh, I remember she was asking us to smile during the class and I was like, why? Why would I do that? Why, why would I smile when I have nothing to smile about? And I remember almost being frustrated, but I relaxed. I had tried a lot of different modalities before and something about this just made me stick around. Something about brain education just made me uh, stick around. It wasn't an easy process for me. I'd really suppressed a lot of emotions inside. So the beginning of, of the practice and of uh, brain education was, was challenging for me. And brain education helped me so much that I decided to stick around and teach these methods to others. Brain education has greatly impacted my life. So no joke, I was really paralyzed by the fears I had inside to the point where grocery shopping was a big ordeal for me. So forget group crowds, small social interactions, I would have palpitations, I was having panic attacks, the anxiety was pretty severe and as a result of that, I really didn't do much with my life. And because of that, I was severely depressed, <laughs> right? So I had kind of no, no direction. I, it was hard for me to enjoy just simple things in life. It was, I, I was pretty debilitated by my anxiety and by my depression. So I think the biggest shift started to happen for me when I came to the awakening that my thoughts and my emotions weren't really who I was. So this phrase, my emotion is not me, but mine, became like a mantra that I would repeat to myself over and over again. And it gave me so much space and so much freedom rather than feeling trapped by these, these kind of persistent thoughts and, and really dark emotions. So now through brain education, I have so much more confidence and I have so many tools that I use daily for grounding and managing my emotions. My favorite brain education exercise is dungeon tapping. Even after practicing for nine years, it is the fastest way to get me grounded and to get me centered. Because what I realized in this process was I am really sensitive to other people's energies. So if I'm not grounded, I'm walking around like a huge psychic antenna. It's really intense. So daily grounding practice is so essential and dungeon tapping can help me get there faster than many other things I've tried. Knowing what I know now, what I would tell my old self is, you are okay. You are not doing anything wrong and you are exactly where you're supposed to be. So you can trust you're gonna figure it out. So if you're someone like me, if some of this is making sense to you or you can resonate with it, I did start my own YouTube channel called Authentically Anxious because I can't be the only one, right? Where I talk about my real-time awakenings, what's really going on in my life and how I'm managing it and how I'm dealing with it and tools from brain education that can help you manage what you're going through. And to know that it's possible to live with anxiety and still find happiness, find contentment and find purpose in your life. I was paralyzed by anxiety and depression, and I found hope and self-empowerment through brain education.